So for the COVID-19 test, we've stopped using VTM and we've started just using sterile tubes and we've been collecting nasal pharyngeal and oral pharyngeal specimens for each COVID-19 test that we've been running. In order to run the test, you're gonna need package one, which contains test base, and package two, which has the transfer cartridge and sample receiver. On the ID now, you wanna go ahead and hit run and select COVID-19. It's gonna ask you to enter the accession number or an identifier for the patient. Once you've done that, you'll select OK, and I'll ask you to open the lid, and from here you'll open package number one and insert the test base. There, um, it can only fit in one direction because there's a, there's a QR code that faces the light in a sensor, a little camera, that'll read the QR code, and it'll identify that it is COVID-19 test that you're trying to run. Um, it'll ask you if that is what you're trying to run, you'll hit OK, and then from there it'll ask you to put your sample receiver into the sample receiver holder, and that is in package two. And it's gonna run for three minutes of incubating. Once your incubation is complete, you'll go ahead and remove a tab on top of the sample receiver. And you'll then take out your swabs, and you're gonna mix them in the sample receiver for 10 seconds, uh, which is what they recommend. I've been going a little bit longer um, I just try to double it up and do 20 seconds to make sure that I get as much material off of the swabs as possible. Um, there have been some concerns with uh, sensitivity on this specific test by Abbott, so I just figure the extra 10 seconds will just help get as much viral RNA, if it's present, off of the swabs as possible. After you're done mixing your uh, swabs, You'll tell it that you've done that by pressing OK, and then you'll take the transfer cartridge, also from package two, and you'll press it into the sample holder. Now you wanna make sure the orange dot on top comes up, which means that it's aspirated some of the sample. And then when you press it into the test base, you wanna make sure the orange dot goes down, meaning it has dispensed into the test base. Once it recognizes that you've done that, it'll ask you to close the lid and the test will begin. Now, if the test is positive, if it detects um, SARS-CoV-2, it'll take only about three minutes. It has early detection, so once it has a positive result, it will result it as positive. Um, if it's negative, it will go the full 10 minutes. Um, and then after it is completed the test, it'll save it to its internal storage. You can see there it says saving. Um, this takes a few seconds to complete. But once the saving process is done, it'll then display the results of your test. And it'll also have a little uh, print off sticker that is just to the left. You'll see the little printer there for the ID now. And there it goes. And this patient was negative. Um, from here, you can remove everything and the uh, test base clicks into the sample receiver which is why I'm rocking it back and forth there to make sure it's clicked in and then I dispose of it. Um, from here after you close the lid it's going to perform a self-test and that is how you perform the COVID-19 on ID Now.